What's up everybody? This is Derek with Lucy Grip, and today I'm going to be showing you how to bring back that handboard of yours. Now if you're out there shredding every day, the decks can get a little dirty and you can end up with some bare spots on there. Good news is we can patch that up with Lucy Grip. Really simple process, two part application, apply some liquid down, put your grip down, another layer of liquid to lock everything in, and let it dry for roughly 30 to 40 minutes depending on the weather. Now Lucy comes in three different granule sizes. You have the light, which is the orange in color, you have the blue, which is the medium, and red, which is the heaviest of them all. Now in today's demo, I'm going to be using the medium grip. It's the closest to what comes standard on almost all handboard decks that go out. So that's what I'll be using in today's demo. Uh, you can also use the light, which is great for bare, foot, uh, bare feet. Same with the, uh, the medium. Now if you're a rider that rides with shoes all the time and you're an aggressive rider, maybe the heavy is the, is the, is the grip for you, but for bare feet, I would not recommend the heavy grip. Uh, it won't feel so good and it won't be comfortable on the, the bottom of your feet. Um, today, I'm also gonna be taking it a step further. Instead of just applying new grip in some of the bare spots, I'm actually gonna be cleaning this deck up. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. It's been written a lot. There's some bare spots up here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cleaning this thing up. I won't be taking the grip off. I'll simply be just cleaning it with soap and water and a little scrub brush, let it dry, and then I'll come to the grip and apply grip to the whole entire deck to give it a whole fresh new coat. So all you need for that is a little scrub brush. Um, don't use a sponge. If you use a sponge and you rub it, across, rub it across the top of the deck, you'll end up with little pieces all over the place and it will be just be a, a mess to clean up. Uh, second thing you'll need is a little Tupperware with some uh, water and some soap. Uh, I use Dawn Just Soap for this. It seems to be the best uh, or it works for me. Whatever you can find around the kitchen or bathroom, just a little soap and water or even just water is fine as well. Uh, the other thing, uh, a rag or a towel so you can damp uh, the board dry after uh, cleaning it up. Now don't rub the rag across, you'll end up with little strings and stuff again all over the deck and that's just not fun to clean up. Um, and the other thing too, keep in mind, you want to make sure that the deck is 100% dry before you apply the grip. So what I usually do is I'll just scrub the, uh, the deck, get it all nice and clean, come back the next day then apply a fresh coat of grip. Um, if you're pretty confident that it's dry before applying, go for it, but just make sure it's 100% dry before applying Lucy Grip. So let's get started. So here we have the Pescadito board. Um, I've been riding this a lot. So what I'm gonna be doing is just kind of scrubbing from the nose all the way down to the tail to clean up all this dirt and get all the grime up. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna be putting some medium grip on and this thing will look like brand new deck. So get started. I'm just gonna get the uh, scrub brush a little wet And then I'm gonna start up here at the nose and just kinda just go at it. I just kinda go in a circular motion. And one thing to keep in mind, you can either get in there and get down and dirty with it, or if you just wanna do a light scrub, that's fine as well. Um, me, I'm just gonna kinda quickly go over it, get a lot of this dirt up, make it look uh, nice and new again. All right, welcome back. Uh, I finished scrubbing down the deck. It's looking a lot better than it did before. Um, I got the majority of the dirt off. It's looking really clean. Obviously the scuff marks I can't get out with a scrub brush, uh, but overall the deck is looking a lot better than it did before. It's all dry and ready to go for the grip. And in today's demo, I will be using the, the medium grip. Uh, like I said before, it's the closest that comes standard on all the handboard decks that go out, so which is why I'll be using it in today's demo. The light grip is good as well. Uh, the heavy, again, not great for bare feet. So if you ride barefoot a lot, stick with the light or the medium and you'll be good to go. So in the package of grip, when you get it, you will have a little foam brush. Uh, this is usually uh, meant for people that are doing like a whole new deck that has absolutely no grip on it. It's a lot easier to kind of spread it out uh, first with the brush and then apply the grip. Uh, but today's demo, we're not gonna be using this. We're just gonna be using the uh, pump sprayer. So the pump sprayer is a liquid, which is part one. Then you have the grip, which is the medium grip. In the box, you got a sticker. Go stick it on something. Instructions, both English, Spanish, and also we have uh, priming instructions. Uh, occasionally, it might be difficult to uh, right out of the box get this uh, pump sprayer working right away. It might take 10 to 15 pumps to get the liquid really coming out. Uh, if, if after 15, 20 pumps, it's not flowing out of the bottle, scan the QR code or just simply go to the link Watch the video, it's really simple. You just take the cap off, dip it in some water, 
get the liquid coming through, stick it back on and should be good to go. If you do have any issues, you just can't get it working, contact us at Lucy Grip or contact uh, Handboards. They'll get a hold of us and we'll take care of you. When you grab the liquid, first what you want to do is basically spray off to the side. Again, it might take a little bit to get it primed and going. You might not be lucky and it just starts right away. But spray off to the side, don't spray over the board. There you go. So now the liquid's coming out. So what I like to tell customers is when they're doing it, you gotta press down quick and fast on the pump spray. If you pump down slow, you'll end up with like these bigger droplets that will end up on the board. Um, you can get them out by quickly just kind of rubbing them out with your finger or taking the foam brush and getting it out of the deck if that happens. Um, but what I like to do is basically hold it about roughly 12, maybe 20 inches from the deck, kind of at an angle. I don't go straight down. Don't go straight down on the deck. Um, just kind of come from an angle and you're going to get the whole deck and you can kind of see it coming out and you're going to spread a nice little layer. What you want to do now is grab your second bottle, which is the, uh, the grip, take the little blue cap off. Now this is how I like to do it. Don't go straight over the board, go off to the side first. You'll have that first initial drop that comes out. And what I like to do is hold it, the further you hold it up above the board, the more disbursement of the grip. If you're down here on the deck and you're shaking it up and down like a salt shaker, you're gonna end up with these blotchy spots all over the deck and it's not gonna look too great. So what I like to do is kind of hold up as high as I can. I don't go up and down like a salt shaker. You don't wanna do that. Again, you'll end up with those weird, heavy, blotchy spots on the deck. Just kind of go, you wanna consistently be moving back and forth. And as you're doing that, lightly tap the side of the, the bottle it's looking really nice, you can see. Now the last step to this whole thing is you're gonna take your liquid again, and you wanna kinda of go over the deck again and encapsulate all the grip that you just put on the deck. So again, start from the side, don't go straight down, and hold it roughly about 12, 20 inches away from the deck. Again, pump fast down on the pump, on the pump sprayer. If you're pumping slow, you'll end up with these big blotchy things and it's not gonna look good. Go quick and fast on the pump spray and you should have a nice fine mist that sprays out of the bottle. All right, there you have it. We have a newly uh, gripped Pescadito board. It should be ready to go in about 30, 40 minutes. Lucid grip, two-part application. If you have any questions, concerns, or Anything like that, you can contact uh, Lucid Grip. That's info at lucidgrip.com or go through uh, Handboard's customer service. And either way, we'll get you taken care of. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.